Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to do a thing called shopping list. We're going to create a shopping list in the variable my list. So they've already set it up here. This list should be a multi-dimensional array containing several subarrays. The first element in each subarray should contain a string with the name of the item and the second element should be a number representing the quantity. So uh, this entry into my list, say we wanted a chocolate bar 15, we would want it to look like this. If we were to console.log my list, um, we would see that we have a, a list of this. Um, this, yeah. I don't know if that helps. There should be at least five subarrays in the list. Uh, my list should be an array. Uh, the first element in each of your subarrays must all be strings, and the second element must all be numbers. And there must, uh, you must have at least five items on your list. Okay, cool. So there's numerous ways to do this. Let's start off with the sim most simple. The first thing that you could do is just say, my list is a collection of arrays. Now, uh, the way that you guys have seen arrays thus far, you're just going to have a collection of arrays. So let's say your next one is going to be steak, and you're gonna pick up three steaks. This would be an element two. So if you console log my list, you'll have here. And then if you console log my list dot length, you're getting how many elements are there. This is, we've got two elements in here, zero, and one, so two. Let's say the next one's rice. And then you're gonna get one bag of rice. You see I've added a period here rather than a comma. That's what caused that error. So now we have three elements. We have chocolate bar, steak, rice. Let's see, what else do you get from the store? Mm. Uh, salt. And let's say you get one thing of salt. Okay, so now we have four elements. As you can see what's happening here, as I'm console logging my list, which is this guy, chocolate bar 15, steak three, rice one, salt one. Last thing, obviously, ah, dang it. stop, 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 stop. Uh, the last thing that we're going to add in here is rice. No, uh, ice cream. put an E there and we'll get two th two quarts of ice cream ice cream two and now our list has five now if I run the test I'm pretty sure this will pass okay cool now this succeeds in our things we don't need the console log so essentially you could just write it like this this is ugly and terrible first thing that we want to do is refactor this so that we do it like this um, this makes it so the code is readable, right? This is exactly the same thing as what we had previously. But here we've set it out so that it's organized. The way that I program, I would move ice cream up to here because I like to have my lists actually have like descending order of functionality. Like the length of this is, it goes down with length. Some people think I'm crazy, but to me, this code is easier to view. I think it just looks better. Um, okay, so my list is worked out. This actually passes the test. Now, because we've done all this pop, shift, and stuff like that, maybe we should try to do this in a different way. We could extract, let's say that in programming you're going to have times where, you're, where your programs will add to things. So you could say my list dot, uh, not pop, shift, unshift, push. We could say my list dot push, and we could add um, these, I think we could add these three elements, right? And now if we console.log my list, cool, and now we actually have all of them on there. So push, pop, unshift, shift. Perhaps we could shift to this as well, my list.shift. No, we could just shift on this so we don't actually have to add it. Make it a new line. And, 
Unshift. Oh, okay, so shift makes it so we remove it. So if we unshift, the, the list actually is added to. And see, so we can add this to there, and then our list is complete. So here we've sort of initialized the list, and then we've added to it by adding to the end of it by putting rice and steak onto it, and then we've unshifted salt, which we mean we've added salt to the front. And yet all, all ways, if we just initialize the list that way, or if we use programming in the, in the future to get it, we still get this list of five things. The console log is not necessary, but if we run the test, you'll see that this passes. So I hope this helps. We kind of utilize all the different message uh, methods uh, that have been previously explored. And uh, hope you guys found this useful. I'll see you in the next lesson.